black cowboys are not unusual. They are normal. But people that don't know about the subject um, see it as something that's wrong, as something unexpected, because you think of the cowboy as white. So when you see a black cowboy, it's an inversion of something you expect, but it turns out to be completely uh, very normal. And in fact, historically, maybe even more authentic than the typical white cowboy. Yes, this is a, a building that has been reproduced all over the world um, by the um, Lubavitchers, who are a, a special ultra-Orthodox sect, a Jewish sect, located in Brooklyn. Um, they took over this uh, uh, building, which was a, a, a kind of scholastic Gothic um, clinic, uh, and they took it over in the middle of the 20th century. And then um, the group uh, grew and became very um, uh, prosperous and popular. And then um, this building was associated with the group and became their kind of headquarters. We would go to Australia, for example, and the hotel was right next door to the building. And then we would look around for the building and there it was. So we felt at home too. So we were in, in Brooklyn, wherever we went. And that was a really interesting experience. A little bit like a franchise, like like McDonald's or something like that, where you look for the familiar in a strange place. Well, for me, um, again, Andrea has a different story. For me, it was that I was a, a German coming to America. And every time I went back and forth, I realized that I was seeing my one side, my one identity, from the outside. And then, so when I came here, I f didn't feel at home. I felt like I was an American coming to Germany. But then after a few weeks, I would see it from the inside again. And all my, mem my memories would come back. My language would come back. And then I would go back to America and see that from the outside. Yeah, I didn't, I, I saw photography or film as just one more way of making art. And uh, it's a very, it's a great medium because you, it's very direct and it seems to look like the truth. And then the, in the post-production part, which is the, done on the computer, and you know, we, we retouch it, we straighten it, we do all kinds of things to, to make it look real. We don't alter it in, in a fictional way, but then we put it on the wall and see how it looks. And that process, of course, takes much longer. And that's something we also work on together so that in the end we often don't know who took the picture. Art teaches us to see. Mm -hmm. Is that the basis of your work? Yes. There's always an educational mm -hmm. level to all the work. Mm -hmm. And we need some kind of friction to, to get the conversation going. Mm -hmm. Some kind of something that doesn't fit onto the background.